Hello guys, it's good to be back on Laravel Daily YouTube channel after a week of break. I've been on vacation now fully re-energized and have a lot of plans for this channel and for Laravel Daily Com. And as a first video after comeback, I will show you something from Laravel Daily Com source code related to tagging. So if you have ever searched for something on Laravel Daily Com, you may have noticed auto suggested tags. For example, if you go for filament, there's a tag suggested for you. And then if you click, you have records, courses and tutorials tagged by filament. But also you may notice that autocomplete doesn't always suggest exactly what you type. For example, if you start with auto, it also suggests testing, although the word testing does not contain the word auto. In our case, it means automated testing. So in this case, we came up with a concept called aliases on top of tags package. So let me show you how it works and maybe you could use that logic in your projects. So we will be talking about this package, Spati Laravel Tags, very popular package and very simple to use. So if you take a look at the documentation, all you need to do after installation, of course, is to add hashtags to your models. In our case, we have models like courses, posts and videos and lessons and stuff like that. And then if you want to get the records for a certain tag, you go something like course with any tags or course with all tags or something like that. So this is exactly what we did in Laravel daily com source code. So one of the models, for example, is a model called course, which just has tags. In the database, we have a table called taggables with polymorphic relations that come from Spotty package. So for example, this line means that tag ID 10 is related to the course with ID 12. So this is the default behavior of SPATI tags and I really recommend that package for simple tagging, especially if you have multiple models with tags. But then on top of that, we added aliases. Look at this SQL query with the result from Laravel Daily Com database. Isn't it pretty natural to call the same thing in various ways in programming? So one example, multi-language tag could be called translation or localization, which is totally different word, but describing the same thing in the search. Also testing could be called unit test, automated tests and stuff like that. And then if you care about eloquent performance, for example, you can query optimization, speed, or formulated in other words. So how to do that? The first thought could be to just create more tags, but then it's massively inconvenient because if you're writing multiple articles on eloquent optimization, you would need to manually assign all the tags with all their different aliases every time. Not convenient. So that's why we came up with a model called tag alias, which would belong to tag. So every tag would have multiple possible aliases. And by the way, that belongs to tag. That tag model is not Spati model, the default from the package. But we override even that to add a bit more custom behavior like scope, like a few more relationships, because we need the priority column. So a bit more custom things on top of Spati tags, but under the hood, it still extends the same Spati tag from vendor, this model, Spati tags tag. And by the way, I have a separate video on how to generally override the packages model with your own behavior. So for example, if you want to use some package, but you're not 100% satisfied with how that class works from the package, you can add your own behavior. So I will link that video in the description below. So yeah, with that behavior, with tag aliases, whenever someone is typing something in the search, we search for auto-completed tags in two places, in the tags by keyword, and then additionally as a second search in the aliases, and then still return the tag and suggest the main tag, which has the records. So aliases are not related to the records themselves, to the posts, to the courses and stuff like that. They are related just to tags as kind of second phase of the search. And of course, in general, that search may be much more complicated with finding similar words almost by AI or something like that. This is a topic for a separate, probably even full course in the future. But for our simple cases, aliases are doing great things. We see that in the history of searches that people are actually landing on those pages by aliases. So I just wanted to show you our solution to that. What do you think? Would you have done something differently? Let's discuss in the comments as usual. And subscribe to the channel. We get back to daily now again after my vacation. And see you guys in other videos.